pretending to be a madman is working. It is not an option for anyone to find me or my discoveries that have revolutionized science. Used in wrong hands, they can destroy everything. As long as I am living here and my documents are hidden, it's okay. It is my responsibility to keep it as a secret for now. At any price. I encourage you to accept being shut away. To accept the fate of being a madman. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I don't think you're mad. I, I can feel it. Come here, Monica. In the eyes of the world, you're in love with a man who's mentally sick. You're simply asking for trouble. Leave this place. Forget me. That would be the best for us both. Well, I want to sleep with you. I want to have children by you. I know I'm talking quite shamelessly. Why, why won't you look at me? Oh, I'll do anything you ask. I'll work for you day and night. Monica, I must send you away. Well, don't you feel any love for me at all? I love you, Monica. Good God, I love you. That's what's mad. Oh, Johann William, I have spoken to Fräulein Dr. von Sand. You spoke to her? You're free. Free? We can get married. God. Fräulein Dr. von Sand has arranged everything. Of course, she still considers you a sick man, but not dangerous. And it's not like it's a hereditary sickness. She said she was madder than you, and, and then she laughed. That was good of her. She's a great woman. <sighs> Indeed. I have accepted a post as district nurse in Blumenstein. I've been saving up. We have no need to worry. All we need is to keep our love for each other. Isn't it wonderful? All oh, we need to pack your things. The train for Blumenstein leaves at 8.20. There's not much to back. Well, I'll switch on the light. What a moment. Why? Right. 